Welcome. In today's tutorial, I'll be using three vertical pictures and two horizontal ones. Let's begin by adding a white background and extending it to 17 seconds. After that, go to the media section, drag a picture onto the timeline, extend it to match the duration, and then right click to select crop to fit. Next, go to the effects tab, drag and apply the border effect to the clip. Click then go up to effect to adjust the settings, set the border size to five and the blur to one. Now go to the basic settings and scale down the size to 60. Scroll down to adjust the rotation to three, then scroll further down to enable and apply the drop shadow. Now scroll up and add a keyframe to the transform settings. Set the position X value to minus 316 to move the picture slightly to the left. Then scroll down to the opacity setting and set it to zero as demonstrated. Now move the playhead to the two second mark. Then go back to the transform settings, add a keyframe, reset the position X value to zero and increase the opacity to 100. Preview. Next, move the playhead to the three second mark and add a new video track. Then go to the media tab, drag a vertical picture onto the timeline, extend it to match the duration and apply the border effect from the effects tab. After that, click on the effect and go up to adjust the border size to five and the blur to one. Next, go to the basic settings, enable the drop shadow, scroll up to adjust the rotation to minus three and scale it down to 60 as shown. Next, add a keyframe to the transform settings. Set the position X to minus 711, position Y to 70, and then scroll down to the opacity settings, add a keyframe, and set the opacity to zero as shown. Now, move the playhead to the five second mark. Go up to add a keyframe for opacity and restore it to 100. Then scroll up to add a keyframe for transform, set the position X to minus 450 and keep position Y at 70. After that, preview the changes. Now move the playhead to the six second mark. Copy the vertical picture, add a new video track and paste it. Adjust the duration to match. Then go to the media tab, hold down the alt key and drag another vertical picture to replace the one on the timeline. Next, click on the first keyframe. Then go up and simply delete the minus sign from 711 in position X and delete the minus sign from three in the rotation setting. Again, click on the second keyframe, then go up and remove the minus sign from 450 in position X and delete the minus sign from three in the rotation setting. Now, move the playhead to the nine second mark. Then go to the second track, copy the horizontal picture, add a new video track, paste it above, and adjust the duration to match as shown. Now go to the media tab, hold down the alt key and replace the picture on the timeline. After that, click on the first and second keyframes, then go to the rotate setting and add a minus sign to three as shown. Now move the playhead to the 12 second mark. Then go to the fifth track, copy the vertical picture, add a new video track, paste it above and adjust the duration to match as shown. Now go to the media tab, hold down the alt key and replace the picture on the timeline. After that, click on the second keyframe, then go to both positions and rotate, then restore back to zero as shown and the picture becomes centralized. So animate this very picture from bottom to top. I clicked the first keyframe and only went up to type zero in position X and minus 176 in position Y. Let preview. Next, add two video tracks, then go to effect to search for Lilia Valley Pack. So I drag down two of its effects and extend it as shown.
Last but not least, I went back to effect to drag down the app fill effect, extend to match the duration below, then click and reduce its opacity to 10. Afterward, I previewed, so the template link for this tutorial is in the description. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.